Greetings fellow tank commanders, in this video I'm going to be showing you the War Stories Flashpoint Berlin campaign. During the three chapters of this campaign, I am using the Centurion Mark I Berliner, which is just a Centurion Mark I used for War Stories missions. The chapters in this campaign are quite long, but I've sped up the parts in between the action to make it as efficient as possible. The war was over. The Allies had won. Or so they thought. It never pays to make assumptions, especially when the Russians are involved. British command had mobilized their heavy armor and were advancing east into Soviet-occupied Germany. The Russians had a stranglehold on Berlin and were slowly choking the life out of it. The British objective was to establish a supply route to the encircled city. The airlifts had been abandoned after Tempelhof and Gatau airports were bombed by saboteurs. Thompson from the 7th Armored Division, Desert Rats, was given the unenviable task of clearing the way into Berlin. Thompson wouldn't admit it to his men, but he knew he was about to prod a sleeping bear with a rather large 42-ton stick. Failure wasn't an option. The fate of Berlin rested on Thompson's shoulders. Thompson studied the map. The road into Berlin had to be cleared and secured. This was it. Once the shooting started, there would be no turning back for Thompson and his men. Like that one went right through. Loaded and ready. 
accomplished. Neither Thompson nor his men could quite believe what had just happened. Although it was only a bloodied nose, lives had been lost on both sides. There was a sudden shift in mood inside the Centurion, as if the consequences of their firefight had been played out between them. Thompson knew this was the start of something much, much bigger. his men focused on the job at hand. He knew the next enemy armor they'd meet wouldn't be caught napping. The Soviets had ducked, blockading the roads that led into Berlin. The only option left for Thompson was through town.
A Soviet base lay at the heart of the town. Capturing it would give the Allies a route into Berlin.
Berlin. Nearly half of Captain Thompson's force were burning wrecks scattered across the East German countryside, a stark reminder of the men who had laid down their lives. Yet it wasn't the time to dwell on the dead. Their sacrifice meant the Allies had advanced within touching distance of their goal. Countless souls now depended on them crossing over the line. The shadow of a third world war was drawing ever closer. Air support was gone, curtailed by the worsening weather conditions. The only thing Thompson and his remaining tanks had left was the strength of their resolve. Somewhere beyond this hellish fury, the cream of the Russian army, the 9th Tank Division, lay in wait. Thompson would meet the enemy head on and show them the true meaning of British grit. Thompson stared at the ring of Soviet steel that encircled the city. There was no escaping it. He would have to go through those tanks. Thompson's mouth went dry. Ahead lay the Strelka, the elite of the Red Army, and the last obstacle in the Allies' way.
formation. I see one. Unlocking target. The battle into Berlin was over. Thompson opened the hatch and breathed in the frozen winter air. They had run the Soviet gauntlet and survived. With luck and a little diplomacy on both sides, maybe he'd live to see the next Christmas in relative peace. Thompson's men had broken through the blockade around Berlin. The path was now cleared for Allied supplies to reach the starving population. Thompson had lost so many tanks to the Russians. The fighting had been fierce. The price had been high, paid by the blood of his men. For some families back home, this would be the first Christmas without a father, a brother, or son. From the ashes of grief, hope would spring once more. Berlin could breathe again. The grip of Soviet rule had been loosened. For now, the threat of another conflict lay unrealized. Politicians on both sides had been hesitant to escalate the situation any further. The world just wasn't ready for another global war. Yet, this was a defining moment in history. One which would see both sides staring across at one another with deep resentment and suspicion. It also heralded the birth of the UN and ensured a nervous peace held across Central and Eastern Europe. As for Thompson, his name would become as synonymous with the desert rats as Montgomery's own. The captain's selfless actions and that of his men ensured the citizens of Berlin had more reason than most to be thankful one cold Christmas Eve in 1948.
The Flashpoint Berlin War Story was epic to play. I can't wait to try it out with some other tanks, and I'm looking forward to many more of these campaigns in the future. Stay tuned for more awesome World of Tanks videos.